Introduction According to Dalton's atomic theory, the atom was indivisible and indestructible. But the discovery of two fundamental particles, electrons and protons, inside the atom led to the failure of this aspect of Dalton's atomic theory. It was then considered necessary to know how electrons and protons are arranged within an atom. J. J. Thompson in 1898 presented a model of atom. According to this model, the positive charge of the atom is uniformly distributed throughout the volume of the atom and the negatively charged electrons are embedded in it like seeds in a watermelon. This model was called Plum Pudding Model of the Atom. Atoms and molecules in matter are never at rest. They are always in the state of motion. Each atom or molecule keeps interacting with its neighbors. All objects emit electromagnetic radiation continuously. Condensed matter, like solids and liquids, and dense gases at all temperatures emit electromagnetic radiation. They emit radiation over a wide range of wavelengths. The amount of energy emitted at each wavelength is not the same. These radiations are considered to be due to oscillations of atoms and molecules. However, light emitted from rarefied gases heated in a flame or excited electrically has only certain discrete wavelengths. This type of radiation emitted can be considered due to individual atoms rather than due to interactions between atoms or molecules. It is now established that each element is associated with a characteristic spectrum of radiation. Around 1911, an experiment of scattering of alpha particles by atoms was performed by Hans Geiger, 1882 to 1945, and Ernst Marston, 1880 to 1970. Scattering experiment gave totally unexpected results. The results of this experiment led to the birth of Rutherford's nuclear model of the atom.